Did AMD just make the world's best gaming CPU? Squid robots exploring the ocean depths. The firefighting Thermite RS3 robot joins the Los Angeles City Fire Department. Stick around to find out more in this episode of News Bites. Hello and welcome to Advanced Ingenuity Labs, your insight into technology. I'm your host, Aisha Sharif, and this is News Bites, where we cover innovative developments in the latest technologies. AMD has just revealed its new Ryzen 5000 series processor lineup for desktops. According to AMD, the world's best gaming CPU will be available on November 5th, starting at $299. These are the first chips from AMD that feature the next-gen Zen 3 architecture and represent the biggest jump for AMD's desktop chips yet. The new 7 nanometer Zen 3 architecture comes with a 19% increase in instructions per clock over the previous generation Zen 2. It also has the highest maximum boost frequencies and a redesigned core layout and cache topology that gives the processor's cores faster access to a larger cache in half the time. AMD is starting with four new Zen 3 CPUs. The top of the line Ryzen 9 5950X model with 16 cores. 32 threads and a max boost speed of 4.9 gigahertz will cost $799. The Ryzen 9 5900X with 12 cores, 24 threads and a max boost speed of 4.8 gigahertz will be $549. The Ryzen 7 5800X with eight cores, 16 threads, and a max boost speed of 4.7 gigahertz will be $449. And the Ryzen 5 5600X with six cores, 12 threads, and a max boost speed of 4.6 gigahertz will be $299. All four new CPUs will be available November 5th. You can't pre-order any of these new processors, but they are compatible with older motherboards after a firmware update. AMD says that simply replacing a Zen 2 CPU with a comparable Zen 3 model will result in an average of 26% improvement for customers, all while keeping thermal design power and core counts the same. While you wait for the Zen 3, you can make sure your AMD 500 series motherboard's BIOS is up to date so any upgrades you make will work on launch day. BIOS updates for AMD 400 series motherboards, which support the AMD Ryzen 5000 series desktop processors, are expected to be available starting January 2021. However, exact availability will vary by manufacturer and motherboard model. AMD CEO Lisa Su claims Zen 3 increases our lead in overall performance. It increases our lead in power efficiency, and also now it delivers the best single-threaded performance in gaming performance as well. This latest hardware announcement from AMD was focused on the Ryzen 5000 processor lineup for desktops, with special attention given to gaming but there will eventually be new Epic server processors based on the Zen 3 architecture. According to AMD, Zen 3 Epic processors, being developed under the codename Milan, are planned for launch later this year. Intel previously boasted that their Core i9-10900K model was the world's fastest gaming processor. 
AMD is taking a direct shot at Intel by not only claiming that the Zen 3 will be the world's best gaming CPU, but that also the Ryzen 9 5900X manages to beat Intel's i9-10900K in head-to-head -head performance for a wide range of game titles, including League of Legends, Dota 2, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and other titles. On the heels of the Zen 3 processor announcement, AMD will be announcing the Radeon RX 6000, also known as the Big Navi graphics cards, built on its next-gen RDNA 2 architecture on October 28th. The new cards are AMD's response to NVIDIA's RTX 3000 GPUs, and the company is promising that it will also be able to push high-level 4K gaming teasing over 60 frames per second benchmarks for games such as Borderlands 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and Gears 5. If you enjoy this video and find value in our content, you can help us by sharing it with others. Also, leave a comment as we want to hear from you. And consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. You may also click the notification bell if you don't want to miss our upcoming videos. To stay informed about our upcoming training courses and camps here at Advanced Ingenuity Labs, visit our website at advancedingenuitylabs.com and sign up for our email notifications. Researchers at the University of California, San Diego have designed a mostly soft-touch robotic squid that can swim in ocean depths where humans are unable to explore. The robot is made of soft materials such as acrylic polymer and consists of only a handful of rigid 3D printed and laser cut components. The benefit of an aquatic robot being soft touch is for the safety of the fish and coral, which may be harmed by rigid robots. However, the downside of soft robots is they tend to move slower and can't maneuver like some hard robots. The Squid Robot Research Team, which consists of roboticists and experts in computer simulations and experimental fluid dynamics, chose cephalopods as a model for their robot to solve some of the issues that underwater robots may encounter. In addition to being maneuverable and soft, squids can reach speeds faster than any other aquatic invertebrates by using a jet propulsion mechanism. This squid-like robot can swim untethered, propelling itself by generating jets of water. The robot carries its own power source inside its body and can also carry a sensor such as a camera for underwater exploration. Michael T. Tolley, one of the paper's senior authors and a professor in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at UC San Diego said, Essentially, we recreated all the key features that squids use for high-speed swimming. This is the first untethered robot that can generate jet pulses for rapid locomotion like the squid and can achieve these jet pulses by changing its body shape which improves swimming efficiency. According to their news release, the squid robot is shaped roughly like a paper lantern and has flexible ribs that act like springs along its sides. The ribs are connected to two circular plates at each end of the robot. One of them is connected to a nozzle that both takes in water and ejects it when the robot's body contracts. The other plate can carry a waterproof camera or a different type of sensor. After completing field tests, the researchers demonstrated that the robot is able to steer by adjusting the direction of the nozzle. These tests allowed the researchers to examine the effectiveness of the waterproofing of the electrical components, namely the battery and camera. Researchers conducted several experiments to find the optimal size and shape for the nozzle that would propel the robot. This, in turn, helps them increase the robot's efficiency and its ability to maneuver and go faster. The squid robot, at its top speed, can swim about 18 to 32 centimeters per second, which is faster than other soft robots. 
As we know more about the moon than the bodies of water that make up 70% of our planet, this soft robotic squid may help us not only learn more about the planet we all call home, but possibly predict and prevent coral reef tragedies, such as the loss of more than half of the coral reef population off the coast of Australia due to coral bleaching. According to Daily California Wildfire Update, nearly 9,000 firefighters remain on the front lines battling 21 wildfires across the state, 12 of which are still uncontained. Since the beginning of 2020, there have been over 8,500 wildfires that have burned over 4.1 million acres in California. Currently, the total number of fatalities statewide is 31 and more than 9,200 structures have been destroyed. Now, joining the Los Angeles City Fire Department at the front line will be the Thermite RS3. According to Textron Systems Corporation, the Thermite RS3 is a super high-volume firefighting robot with a low center of gravity and a wide chassis that allows it to navigate rugged terrain and withstand exposure to extreme elements. The modular design and wider stance can accommodate additional equipment, including a plow assembly. The RS3 is able to push vehicles from its path and pull up to 8,000 pounds with its winch. Los Angeles City Fire Department Chief Ralph Terrazas says, the Los Angeles City Fire Department is excited and honored to be the recipient of the first Thermite RS3 in North America. This innovative technology will be an excellent addition to our urban search and rescue toolkit, as well as being able to fight fire in situations that won't put our firefighters in unnecessary danger. This isn't the first time a robot has joined a firefight. That title goes to Colossus. Colossus is the firefighting robot that helped extinguish the devastating fire at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. With the roof ablaze and threatening to bring the monumental building down, the Paris Fire Brigade withdrew its human firefighters and sent in the Caterpillar Tracked Colossus. With its help, the firefighters saved 850 years of history. Underwater exploratory soft robots, firefighting robots, robotic survey dogs, and tic-tac-toe plane robots are just a few of the robots we've covered in our News Bites episodes. I can't wait to see what the future of robotics brings. How about you? Let me know in the comments. That's it for this episode of News Bites. As always, if you enjoyed this video and want more, leave me a comment and consider liking and subscribing. See you next time.